I'm a citizen of Ghana, so my voice counts. Yeah. Because I have the right of to vote for the one who I want to vote for. My voice counts because through peaceful demonstrations, I'll be able to draw the attention of the authorities to listen to what I have in mind. Yeah. If I'm 18 years, I can vote because I have the right to choose the president who will be the face of the country. I strongly stand against me voting when I'm 18 because in view of it, leaders at now do not possess the same potential that a leader should possess. Like, I mean, uh, foresight, vision, and other stuff, and also they are not integritable. So with that, even if their policies are favorable, with that, even they can deceive us, but they will not bring out the policies. After which they are elected, they will rather trample upon our rights. And will not, all the things they said, they, are, they were just maybe throwing dust into our eyes. I will vote because I don't have the power to go to the parliament house to give information on what to do and what not to do. So my vote will, will like tell the person that I will vote for what to do for me because he has given a campaign out. To me, although I'm not yet 18, but when I turn 18, I'll not vote because some of the politicians make some promises which they cannot fulfill. It, it doesn't seem like they can fulfill it, but they just come and say because they know that most of the illiterate in society will believe them by giving them some cash or something. Well, I'll vote because if I remain ignorant, the burdens of the nation will still rest upon me. So my single vote can determine the outcome of the country. It can either elect into power a good leader or a bad leader. So I think my vote, my vote is a, how should I say, it's one of a thousand. I know my MP's house. I'll go to him straight. It's mine. To the media. And that would spread it more faster and easier. Election of uh, leaders is one major issue in our communities. Because uh, now the citizens have divided themselves into factions. Whether this one belongs to party A or party B, they are no longer patriotic. All they think about is their party. So I think they should forgo their party system and be patriotic. That will help in solving the issues in the community. Bad layout and also open unification in the society. Lack of integrity on the part of our leaders. That's state of adherence to the moral principles of knowing what is right and wrong, but only to do what is right. They know what is right, but rather they do what is wrong. So I don't think yeah, it's a problem. The civil servants abusing their power given to them by the government. An example can be made by the AME. I think last, just yesterday, I was going on, the an AME uh, employee has stopped the vehicle. I thought that right belonged to the police, not the enemy. They are supposed to uh, make sure that the traders do not sell on the roadside. But they don't have the right to stop vehicles and have their finances, so they are missing their powers. Lack of parental control. I'll say lack of dignity among the civil servants. That is, when a policeman stops a church driver or a taxi driver, you will not tell him to do what's right or Present is or a last in but rather college by me. So I think that's it. Like for instance, it starts with tolerance. You can't try to bring people together when you don't tolerate each other. So I think tolerance is a key idea there. Yeah. Okay, to me about the about integrity, how to improve upon it. Nowadays, I can see that the NGOs, most of them are coming to our aid. So we can raise the issue to them, then they develop a form about it, then they discuss it with us. Because inte integrity is the hallmark of excellence. My point was based on uh, 
ineffective leadership. I'm thinking that because we are giving, uh, we are casting our vote to the wrong leaders. We are not uh, developing. So I follow. It is the duty of a follower to uh, to work with his or her leader, so that they bring. Um, progress into their nation. If the leader himself is ineffective, the follower will be the same. So I think when um, voting for leaders to power, we should seek the right ones with good policies for us. I think the entire Ghana cannot solely depend on electricity from Makosum. So the right thing to do is the government should. If, um, allocate um, power to the other region, that is from the northern region, they can use solar because the sun is um, hotter there. And then from the coastal place, we can use the hydro. From the windy place, we can use the wind vanes because the wind is also energy. And then from where oil and gas are, we can use the gas there to produce electricity, reducing stress in the power sector and also giving our next generation the opportunity to um, harness greater power in the future. Yeah. Uh, okay, for me, I want the government should uh, uh, build uh, industries and factories so that those who are unemployed will be able to get jobs to do. Also, uh, the road signs. No, there's drivers. I don't know whether they, they don't know how to drive or what. It's like, even when, uh, when you go to Teshi, for instance, push road, they drive as if they drunk. I don't know why. So I want government to make uh, the road signs in order for the driver to reduce their speed. Right.